In our previous video, we exported Civil 3D geometric data to HackRAS for analysis. In this video, we will analyse this data in HackRAS and then import the extent of the flood results back into Civil 3D. First, we will enter the flow data. Click on the Edit Enter Steady Flow Data button. Under the column PF1, we will enter the flow rates. In this case, 15, 5 and 5 QMAX. Click on the Reach Boundary Conditions button and add critical depth to any blank cells in the upstream and downstream columns for the river alignments. Then click on OK. From the File menu, we will now save the flow data file. And then we can exit this form. Next we will run a steady flow analysis. Click on the steady flow analysis button. Make sure flow regime is set to mixed and click on compute. Once completed, click on close to exit the compute form and then exit the steady flow analysis form. You can view the results in graphical form by clicking on the view cross sections button. Scroll through the sections to check for inconsistencies. When satisfied, exit the form. Now we'll create a table to export the flood extents to Civil 3D by clicking on the Output Tables button. Under the Options pull-down menu, make sure that none of the options are ticked. If so, go through and untick them all. Then click on the Reaches option. Click on Select All and click on OK. Make sure the standard table is set to 1 and then go to the Options menu and select Define Table. Highlight column 2 and select Delete Column. Now highlight column 3 and select Delete Column. Repeat for the remaining columns. In the filter box, type in STA space W and double click the two options so that they populate columns 3 and 4 then click OK. Back in the Options pull-down menu, select Save Table and call it ARD Export. This will now be saved under the User Tables pull-down menu and will be available for use in any future project. Now go to the File pull-down menu and select Write to Text File. Give the file a name and click on Save. We can now exit this form and exit HECRAS as well if you wish, remembering to save your project before you do. Flick over to Civil 3D and go to the HECRAS ARD tab. Click on the Import from HECRAS button, select an alignment, locate the text file we just created from the pull-down menu and then click on OK. ARD will do its thing and when finished a text file will appear. This text file shows coordinates and levels for each cross section. It is defaultly saved to the ARD data temp folder and can now be closed down. The extents of the flood and the cross sections are imported to Civil 3D as polyline entities and this completes the process. If you have any comments, please feel free to post them below or visit civilsurveysolutions.com.au. Thanks for watching.